this is my video blog for Ted Dodd and Shirley Carter. Uh, each one, I don't feel like they were able to really get their point across since they had to have shortened time by having two on one day. But um, there are still a few things from uh, each of them that kind of could take away from the whole thing. Uh, I like that they both felt pretty comfortable talking. You can tell Ted, uh, being a pastor, you can tell he talked. He talks. He's comfortable talking in front of people. He seemed like he really enjoyed talking, and he's a very good speaker. Um, the negative would be uh, more so with uh, Mrs. Carter, the fact that she uh, she talked a lot, understandably so, about the Aquinas Center. But um, uh, I feel like I don't know if maybe Ted took some of the things she was talking about, or if it was because of the time. I don't feel like she said quite as much. But um, uh, so uh, with Shirley, she uh said um to make sure to have a staff that's well balanced, and I think that makes a lot of sense. If you're gonna have a a group, if you're gonna have your staff, it's good not to have everybody. It's all like good the same things. Like everybody's a good organizer, is but maybe not good dealing with people or something like that. You need to have well balanced. You need to have some people that are good with like dealing with the public people and stuff like this is important with community education um, and people that can organize your thing and keep it running smoothly and stuff like that that's it's just it makes a lot of sense you know, just to make a good balance um, with Ted uh, he um, uh, he said it's something that Rhonda Hayes had also said um, and other I think another speaker before both of them uh, about you need to make sure you need to fix the needs that aren't being met look for where the problem areas are and try to beat it to it and you know, fix the stuff before it actually is the issue. Um, it's too big, too big of an issue. Um, going back to like the staff stuff, like how Shirley had said, uh, Ted also said to make sure that everybody that's working for the thing believes in the program. That um, that they all, you know, if they're not motivated, if they don't really believe in what they're doing, they're not either not going to do the job well or not do it at all. And that's you know, you need to have your staff doing you know, their job. So um, make sure everybody believes in which stuff, is, especially when it's a nonprofit, where they're going to be working for little to no money, um, maybe volunteer work or something like that. Um, and I thought it was, I thought this was a very interesting point by him, a very good one, very interesting though, um, to make sure that you let everybody know that you're going to disappoint them. I think that sounds kind of strange to say like to people that you're going to let them down, but I, I know for a fact that with what I want to do, I know with you know thousands of people like looking towards you trying to like run the whole show um it's important you're not going to be able to help everybody but you know and you might let them down you might forget to do something you know just something's going to happen um it's good to be either be prepared um if you have too much on your plate try to pass it off like send them to somebody else that might be able to help them or even might be better at helping them with what it is than you can or just if it comes down to it, just apologize to them. And hopefully that they'll understand. You know, you just have so much going right now that um, occasionally you're gonna slip up. And so I thought that was a good point by him that you know, admit your faults and stuff like that. Um. Oh, and the other point by Ted that uh, I wrote down was um, you know, you need to be have like if you're gonna be a leader, you need to be a ferocious leader according to him. Uh, to advocate for the community. So. You know, just be motive like kind of like about the staff thing. Just be motivated, know what you're doing, like have like a passion for what you're doing. Um, for the community though, uh, spe I mean, it depends on what you're doing. If so you're doing just community work, obviously you want to be motivated, and passionate for your community, trying to like improve it or help it or things like that. Or even if you're just working for an organization and um, not necessarily as focused for the entire community, you still need to have that same drive uh, and everything you're doing to work for that too. Uh, that's all the stuff. I think that answers, you know, all the questions all at once. I didn't really label them this time, but, um, combined, I feel like they did a pretty good job. Different points by each of them. Um, some of you had to pick through a little bit, but I thought they did a pretty good job. And, um, it's, uh, maybe someday we, we can go check out the Aquinas Center, because I, I've heard of it. I didn't even know it was for students, to be honest. So, um, all right, that's it.